part of being portable QRP is taking as little as possible, yet still getting good results. Today I'll try 40 meters pedestrian mobile QRP down at the beach. But this time, instead of the normal weight tenor, which is a vertical antenna mounted on a squid pole held in a backpack with a center loading coil, I'm going to try something a little bit simpler. I'm not taking any backpack. Instead, I'll just use a squid pole that's light enough for me to hold. It's a little bit longer than the pole I use with the weight tenor. It's approximately six meters long, but that will allow me to use a slightly longer wire six meters instead of about five. The difference is there's no center loading coil. That means that with any luck, I'll be able to operate the antenna without having to take it down to change bands to go between 40 meters and the higher bands. I have two antenna couplers. This smaller one is 40 through to 10 meters, while this one is more for the lower bands. It's got a bigger inductor, which may be required if I'm trying to match the six meter long wire on 40 meters, where it's barely an eighth of a wavelength long. I'm using a small piece of chopping board threaded onto the top of the squid pole to hold up the wire. The small coupler didn't quite make it. And another problem with holding the pole is it's probably not a good thing for its bottom to be in the water, where it could get sand between the sections and seize up. The bigger coupler did tune up okay. I was able to eventually get a better match with the bigger antenna coupler, but a bit more capacitance would have been desired. All oh, good, Peter. Good signal from here. Thanks for the five and seven. You're 58 here, five and eight. So your uh, six meters of wire is working very, very nicely there. So it's pretty warm though. I'm just sort of keeping an air conditioner on watch out for, uh, for snakes there. VK2 HF port four, VK3 YE pedestrian mobile. How did it go? Well, the six metres of wire did tune up reasonably well, though not perfect, on all bands from 40 through to 10 metres with the larger antenna coupler. However, I did find holding the pole unwieldy, particularly when standing in the water. A bit of extra length on the pole, in this case a bit over six metres compared to five metres, made a big difference. Then there's the base of the pole. I didn't like it being in salt water. If I was doing this again, then you'd get a bit of pipe, maybe about 50 centimetres to a metre long, and have it over the pole and extend out so that you could hold it in the water without the water lapping the bottom of the telescoping pole. That would give it a better lifespan and prevent sand from getting in between the sections. Overall, it's too hard and I think I'll go back to the regular wave tenor. The inconvenience of occasionally switching bands was less than the inconvenience of holding this pole, particularly when I was filming. However, this experiment shows that an N-fed wire six meters long can tune up okay on seven megahertz with an ordinary antenna coupler.